Hello and welcome back to a new Unreal Engine 4 you tricky video. Today's video is about how to you do a slope adaptation. Uh, well, this is how I call it, or this is how uh, the majority of people call it, but actually some people call it walking with face normals or something like this. So we have here a huge big terrain. And we have here uh, our character, as you can see, it's called Mech Spider. It's a spider mecha. So when we hit play, so as you can see, when we start walking on surface like this, as an expected behavior for a, a normal character controller within Unreal Engine, that you have a capsule, and as you can see, it tries to stand with the capsule. We are not going to change this. We are not going to change the capsule because changing the capsule rotation is kind of not impossible, but it's super hard. And second. Uh, we have to deal with gravity and lots of other things so we are going to change the mesh itself and this is the most tricky way mesh or bones and if you saw one of the previous videos which about how to adjust the bone animation it might help you if you want to do like uh, feet matching position on a, on a train or on a stairs or something so our target is to make this mecha walking perfectly and look super awesome so we're going to stop here and let's open here the mix spider as you can see the mix spider it has in the event deck it has a parent deck because it's basically uh, a, a child class for uh, another class called make controller and we're not going to go in details about this make controller what does it have what it does it does it's it's too much things that is not related to our uh, tutorial it's more about shooting and, and other stuff but let's just focus about walking so as you can see this class is empty it has nothing than whatever inside the parent uh, class so uh, here uh, sorry here other thing we are going to do within tech uh, line oops line trace for objects uh, line trace for objects this is within tech and then we are going to get uh, I have here some some something called make entry volume this is basically uh, it's inherited from the parent and this how, how this works this is like a volume uh, where whenever a character is inside this volume it can enter uh, the make I will use this uh, for now just not to add any more things here because this have uh, this is actually it's well centered within the make itself so I come here and use this to get its just to get a point on space no more so I'll get world location let's try to be clear here I'll get a world location and I also I'll get the uh, vector so basically I want to shoot an array or trace line to trace to the bottom so I get the up vector and I multiply this by a minus value let's say like 100 or 200 or 500 or something uh, and then I'm going to add this vector to that vector and use it as my end point for the shooting and use the point itself where this make entry volume is the start point so basically I'm shooting something to down and my object types, let's make an array and world is static is enough for me for now. Uh, it actually depends on your project, but it's enough for me. And we can here actually have for a duration and you can try this. So basically what we have now, we are shooting array down from the center of the mech. Oh, it's shoot it up right now. So mm -hmm. probably we need to say this is minus 500. Compile, save, and yeah. So as you can see, we shoot things all the way down. As you can see, as you can see, so yeah, works mm -hmm. fine. So I'm going to just remove this. I don't want to have too much red lines around my screen. So if this is true, if there is a result there is some values being returned I'm going to break this uh, this hit details and my target here is 
it or let root okay let's just we just get the mesh here and set or let rotation for this thing okay so we are going to set the worded rotation for this to match the impact point so in order to do this we're going to do several uh, little tricky things so let's get the worded rotation first for this so get uh, rotation for this and also let's get the right vector and let's get the up vector let's get up vector and you know what not up vector use this up for four to to cast the ray so let's get forward vector okay we got three vectors and rotation let's uh break this i use only one value from this rotator let's just move this little far away and let's make rotator not this one let's use the z here the yo from here with the yo from here and from the right vector i'm going to make rotation from y and z and i will use this with the max of impact normal and then i'll make rotation from x and z here and also this is from the impact normal and then we're going to break this and use the x value here to the x value here and i'm going to break this as well and i'm using the y to fill the y value in here so now we have a rotator a very functional rotator so then I'm going to use our interp2 just to make sure I'm not going to snapping or something the rotation I'm going to do some sort of interpolation between uh, between the two values uh, this is the new value will be the target and the old value will be uh, whatever value we got here from the mesh itself and yeah this is what we're going to set for the ordered rotation for the mesh and regarding the delta time, uh, let's say get worded. Yeah, delta seconds. And regarding the speed, let's say 1.5 or maybe 2 or something. Just to make sure it happens quickly. So, now, it looks fine. Start working. As you can see I'm adapting with the slope here adapting with the terrain and actually the pissed part when I come to this area it really looks amazing so yeah and this is a mix spider actually the one before it really looks awful but here you can adapt to the slopes and it really looks natural and amazing and if for some reason if you come like here for example as you can see the toy or the feet still uh, not well perfectly aligned with the terrain you can use what we explained previously about adapting uh, or adjusting the pawn animation we discussed how to adjust the pawn rotation but you can do adjust the pawn uh, position actually like what you want to do here is just you come here to the viewport and you add four points here for the four feet and you start casting rays from uh, from these four feet and what, whenever those rays hit the ground you store the points for each leg and then within the animation blueprint you start to blend the animation or change between blend the bone animation with the position of the new uh, hit points you got from here using the same node we discussed uh, before so yeah uh, now we have a slope adaptation feature 
and it's not that complex to add but it's a little tricky sometimes uh, things not working as uh, it should be this is how it takes some time and yeah it looks nice uh, I hope it helps I hope you enjoyed and looking forward to see you in the next video see you bye